I want to show you how to create these five cool text effects as a Photoshop beginner. So the first text effect is the wrap text. You need to go under your pen tool and pick up your pen curvature tool. And we are just going to trace over. Once you have your selection, pick up your type tool and put your cursor anywhere on the line. You can type in your own copied text. So once you're satisfied, you click out of it and that is it. So guys, we're going to move on to the next font. So our next font is an outline font. So with this font, you see I have the B bars. I'm going to make a selection of my text. So Command J to make a copy. We're going to click on our top layer and we are going to right click and convert this into a shape. Now we are going to turn off the visibility of the text below. Go under your path selection and then just pick path selection at the top your options bar, click on the fill and we are going to click empty and we are going to click on our stroke, which is the outline and we are going to choose a color. Now we're going to make it into eight pixels. So it pops a little bit more. Now to make this more playful, we are going to turn off both layers and I'm going to make a copy of my background layer. Command J, make a copy. I'm going to pull my second image and put it in between the two texts. And I'm going to take the background of the second image. So go under your quick action, click on remove background. Next, we want to turn off our visibility for our top text. I'm going to click on my second text and I'm going to pick my lasso tool. And I'm just going to make a selection of this portion of my text and I'm going to add a layer max to hide the other portion. So this is one cool effect that you can have. You can add a shadow effect and we can basically reduce it so it's not so strong and you can go ahead and click OK. So you have this cool effect. So I'm going to go ahead and use the B-Buzz text and I'm going to type in stretch. I'm going to highlight and change color to white. And I'm just going to make this bold. I'm going to stretch this and we are going to set it right there. Now to make this a stretchy text, you want to right click and convert this into a shape. Now we want to go under our path selection tool and we are going to pick the direction selection text and we are going to make a selection just right below the s before it goes above the bottom curve line of our s i'm going to hold down my control and i'm going to add a point and i'm going to add another point right there and we are going to go ahead and reselect our stretch so now that we can see that we have an even cut in terms of where we want to pull down you hold down your shift and you just stretch this as much as you want so to make our text stand out we can go ahead and add a drop shadow go ahead and click ok so the next font text effect is called the perspective so i typed in the word smash the wall and i'm going to increase it like that double click to accept now we are going to hold down our command key and we're going to make a selection of our text command d to make a copy command d to deselect now i'm going to turn off the visibility of this text and i'm going to click on my plus icon to add a new layer now i'm going to go under filter and go under the vanishing point so once the dialog box opens for you you want to click on your create plane tool and you just want to draw a perspective now with this background you can see that there's even a line that we can follow on this so we are just going to go ahead and basically create our perspective plane just like this now with that said you want to press command v to paste in the text that you copied we got to set it on the bottom like that and to scale your text you want to pick your transform tool and you want to go ahead and scale it just like that 
we are going to double click to accept and we are going to click OK. We want the text to be behind our subject. So we are going to make a duplicate of our background text. Hold Command J, make a copy, move the second copy all the way above your text layer. And next, we are going to remove the background of our subject. So click on remove background in a quick action and we get rid of our background. I'm going to double click on my text layer. The layer style will come up and under my blend if, I am going to hold down my underlining layer from the white hand side and with my options held down, I'm going to move it all the way till I begin to see my background concrete bleed through. And I'm going to also do a similar thing to the gray area and I'm going to just slide it. If you're enjoying this tutorial, please give this video a thumbs up, a like, also subscribe if you're new. So guys, let's get into the last tutorial. So the last text effect is called the slicing text effect. And I am using the Agagi Pro text. I'm going to go ahead and create a duplicate of my text. So Command J to make a duplicate. Now the top layer, I'm going to pick my lasso tool. I'm going to, to slice my text diagonal. So I'm going to hold one end and I'm going to cut this end as well. And I'm just going to take it all around just like that. Now I'm going to add a layer max and this will hide the bottom portion of my text. So next you want to hold down your command and make a selection of the thumbnail of your text above. Now we are going to go under select and choose inverse and we are going to add a layer mask. If I click on my bottom text with my move tool, I can move it down and I can slide it. Now you can even make this a little bit more dramatic by adding a new layer at the top and we are going to change our foreground and background to black and white. So we're gonna pick our lasso tool and we are going to draw a diagonal line and I'm just going to move it up so it's right above the line. We're going to make sure we are on our top layer. Pick up your brush tool. So we are going to slightly paint over the bottom portion of our text just like this. And we are going to press Command D to deselect. Now we want to reduce the opacity of this. So guys, I hope you enjoyed all of these five cool text effects. Please give this video a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye y'all.